Today we're going to show the proper procedure in opening a bottle of wine. We can create a beautiful restaurant with a wine list that has representations from around the world, but that last touch with the guest, it's another opportunity for us to engage the guest, share their story, share the story about the wine. That's what they like to hear. But if it's done in an improper way, it can definitely leave a bad taste in, in the mouth of a diner. But when it's done in a clean, professional manner, it definitely leads to a positive experience. One, what I always like to do is whenever I order a bottle of wine, if you're a server, if you're a bartender, you're going to punch it in, you're going to get the chit. The chit is going to get handed off to the manager. The manager is going to pull the bottle of wine to you. You always want to double check to make sure that this is actually what you've ordered. We're human, mistakes will happen, but you just double check. Today we're going to be opening up a Chardonnay from California from Mount Eden Vineyards 2010. It's called Wolf Vineyard. So I received the bottle. I just double check it, make sure it's the right vintage, the right wine, could, could have gone into a different bin. When we're opening for the guest, we're going to walk over to the guest. As I'm showing it to them, I like to share the information. If I have their guest last name, it's even better because that's another way that we are engaged. Mr. Smith, the 2010 Mount Eden Chardonnay Wolf Vineyard. He acknowledges because perhaps he was looking at the wine list and he was pointing or thinking about another bottle of wine. I bring it out, he agrees. Now you can engage the guests talking about the wine or leave them to their conversation. Proper way, you should, everyone should have a wine opener that they know and trust. We're going to cut the top of the foil off. The foil is part of the package and presentation. That comes off, goes into your pocket. Open the wine. Notice that the label is still facing the guest and the table. In one motion, pull it up. Again, body language. If we were hunched over, having difficulty, then you can simply step away. But that body language again, pulling it out. Now, this is what I like to do. I like to take the cork, put it right into my hand where the bottle is being held, and simply twist my wine opener out. Label is still facing the guest. Wine opener goes into the pocket. Now, with the cork. Most of the corks will actually have the name of the winery on it. I like to present this, take a quick look at it, present it to the guest on the right hand side so they can see it. And then for pouring, again, that body language, the posture, the open hand. I'm going to come over to this gentleman. I'm going to be pouring with my right hand. So the guest can actually see the wine. You have your serviette, you wipe the lip, you simply step back and wait. The guest can smell it, he can taste it. Once he agrees that this wine is sound, we're going to proceed around the table. In this situation, you want to serve ladies first. This gentleman is the host. We're going to continue around the table, serving ladies first, then follow with the gentleman, come back to the host, pour him last. With the cork, simply ask, sir, do you like to keep the cork for your collection or shall I take it away? If not, put it in your pocket. For temperature, most white wines tend to be served too cold. Most red wines tend to be served too warm. We have a beautiful environment for both whites or reds, but I always ask the guests, sir, for the temperature, do you like it chilled or left on the table? Um, this would be fine on the table. Thank Very you. well. We'll leave it on the table. If you would like it in the bucket, we'll put it in the ice bucket. Same question goes for red wines as well. 